It couldn't be more true when talking about Gabriel Medina. He can win from so many places. He can beat you at your own game, turns it into his own. He's a master of the rule book, and he's in the jersey once again after a brief hiatus as he took a break at the first half of the year, and he's back to try to pull off the impossible to show up at the Rip Curl WSL Finals. As we'll take a look here, Pete. Goofy footer. Love the way Connor surfs. Big in stature, big in turns. Nice two-turn combo for him. Going to earn himself a 4.83 for his efforts. You can see they ride all the way in here. He's not necessarily looking for an inside connection for a maneuver. He's hailing a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> can see Although that if he gets the inside, he might do something. All right. That's uh, pretty tough to do. It is. Joe Trapel with Peter Mel for the call. Brand new heat. Ethan Ewing, Connor O'Leary, and Medina. Gabriel's going to start things off. On his backhand, loading up. He's got the speed. He will just fly away. Gabriel Medina and the fact that he's coming in with the goal of making and clinching a final five spot. He can do it, if anybody can. Throwing away a turn off the top is Ethan Ewing. You know what's better than Google? This webcast right here talking to our fans. All of a sudden, you get answers. Kevin Dean gives me the answer. Liz Frank is the doctor who found out about the ligaments in the foot. Well, and that's what makes this wave so special is that you do have all these different kind of angles of surf. Layback hook under the lip for Medina. He found a piece of that inside wedge that was rolling through. As he'll get on the board. And Connor O'Leary, let's take a look, Pete. Big layback gaff. Beautifully done. Straight into it. Uh, the one maneuver there. And then a little glide. Keep that flow going. So a little two-turn combo. Growth Medina's had in front of us. So, you know, qualifying at 17, that's naturally going to happen as a man. But also, he was winning back then, and he's still winning and continues to improve as Ethan Ewing goes up and down. But he learned so much. You look at pictures of him through those rookie years. He, he looks just like a little kid. QS win? I think he has a QS win here in Brazil, right? But not championship tour. He does, Pete. That yeah. was down in Imbatuba, where Jadson went at the CT level. That same venue got yeah. Mick Gabriel Medina win over Tommy Whitaker. He comboed Damian Hobgood the round before. Watching the replay here, a little whitewater. His backhand so solid, tags it. Almost felt like this was a position move, maybe, or maybe realizing that it's a low-scoring affair. He pulled it out when he needed it. Incredible stuff. And now searching for Medina there as he kicks out of another right-hander. This heat's seeing some size, some humping conditions today. And then Ethan going right. Again, smaller, uh, these smaller waves, but clean on the open face. Just the carve, this wave dies out pretty quickly for Ethan Ewing, going to be his best number. As we get caught up with Connor O'Leary, didn't need much to get the lead, Pete. Beautiful hack to start it off, a little smaller wave, but wow, how is that disco spin? Gabriel Medina searching, and the section shuts down, didn't get a turn off even after the takeoff. Believe it or not, Connor was still kind of moonlighting at a local surf shop yeah. during that era, and back in Cronulla, and ended up getting a huge win in Belito, and was able to focus on qualification back then. This is Medina, important left here. Blasting it, but he falls. No, mistake. So this is going to be another lower score for Medina. Just first wave, lofty six-foot air. Like, oh, he looks comfortable. Here comes Ethan Ewing. Nice, clean, vertical climb. Everything he does is super smooth, and this one just not going to let him unload. See what happened on this wave, Pete. Oh, a big section up and over the foam climb, which is usually a transition move, which is it was, but there's no section after that. And, I, you know, it's going to be around a mid-two. You think about some styles that can't be imitated, like Aki. I wonder how many young Ethan Ewings are going to be coming up soon trying to imitate one of the best styles on tour. Here's Connor O'Leary, powerful uh -huh. goofy foot, squares up, attacking the lip. There's that showcase of power. And he's always loaded up nice and low off his board. He'll still try to work with his inside corner. Really just been about improving at 2.67 at the moment. Connor's still hanging in there. He'll kick out. And he'll probably be trying to make sure that he holds off Gabriel Medina if he can. Super solid. And uh, you see 
carries the speed nice, where he compresses right here, the double up section just hammers it. That was full power on display, punches his board into the lip, it was a studly section. So nice work there, Connor's going to get another second number, and he'll probably extend his lead. Nice solid effort for Connor O'Leary, improving on a 2.67. And now Ethan Ewing sitting with priority as we slow down that major move again. And when you, the biggest part of this maneuver, yeah, everything was done correctly, but the wave had some juice in it. So I think the judges will reward this. And now rolling into this wave, it looks like Ethan Ewing will fade quickly. Look at that low road as the open face split up quickly, which is not what he was hoping for. And that just takes him out of the game. Completely split up on him, Pete. Yeah, it did. It didn't quite pan out for him, so it's going to be just a throwaway number for him. And the number's in for Connor. Connor O'Leary, 5.73, extends his lead, Ewing to second, Medina now to third. Now Connor O'Leary's turn. Driving right in oh. front of Medina, upside down, but he can't hang on to the big backside hack. Is it he doesn't have a seat? Right, his seat is very low. I mean, yeah, he had one semifinal, so he's kind of moved up, but that's not enough points to be high in the ranking. So he's going to come up against a, a contender. Loading up, backside air reverse, incomplete for Medina. And Connor O'Leary is able to take the big win, 5.73 and a 4.83 to go straight into the round of 16. The elimination round is looking stacked on the women's and men's side already. As you see the official numbers, not a very high scoring heat, a challenging one and O'Leary ends up on top.